we're taking a drive to the, our friends at the auto barn today in Kevin Fredrickson's Cougar we just completed. It's a beautiful black on black Cougar. Sports one of our 408 small block Fords. Multi point fuel injection from Holly. It's got a 4R70W from Gearstar. I mean, this thing's just a, it's a joy to drive. It's a, it's a beauty to drive. Um, not really a lot of suspension upgrades here. We did drop the car, but it's still running a, a leaf spring suspension, you know, which a lot of guys today, you know, they want the, the new deal, four link, whatever, you know, but for a cruiser car, something that's still limber and, and handles well, you know, you can save money in those areas. Keep it a, a leaf spring car, use a lowering block, what have you. Um, it works very well. The car rides great. Like it rides like it probably did, obviously a little bit better than uh, back in 69, but it's just, it's very comfortable. Some of these cars you get in that are really, really set up for road course and got really, really high zoot suspension, they're a little bit noisier internally in the car. And sometimes they're, they're yeah, their handle, handling ability is very, very good, but they're a rougher ride, you know? So it's one of the nice things about this car, just very minuscule suspension upgrades. It's got everything driveline related that's been gone through. So full fuel system. This is an aeromotive fuel system. You guys see us use it all the time. Uh, very reliable. It's a very good system. Running that uh, wizard cooling system. It's got a single 16 inch fan and this is the brushless style. You've heard us talk about those as well. This car cools just like it's supposed to. Today we got the AC on. I still got the window open. I love the window. I like the air to be in my hair but I got cold breeze on my chest. So anybody that's building a cruiser car man put AC in it. But uh, today we're looking at like a real feel of almost 105, 110 degrees. And these are the true days that you can really say that it properly cools. Got the AC cranked and we're just cruising along, get stuck in traffic, no problems whatsoever. So one of the things that you'll constantly see that we preach all the time is that, you know, we're not just a, a crate engine or custom engine builder. We build these one-off custom rides, whether it be a full restoration or, you know, like a uh, uh, resto mods, road course cars, whatever it might be, but the knowledge extends so much further than just building an engine, you know? So obviously we, we preach that we fine tweak and tune these in the vehicle, um, not only the fuel management and ignition, but we also tune the transmission. And uh, so inherently a lot of times the pressures are a little too low or a little too high. So we dial this in for the customer. The only real thing that he may want to change is when the torque converter locks up you know so he may want it to lock up at 65 miles an hour rather than 55 simple easy changes that the user can make himself but overall i mean these are dialed in not only when you get a full car build from us dialed in from you know top to bottom front to rear but you just buy an engine from us and you're getting an electronic transmission we also will plug in the uh, transmission control functions because we have that figured out in the vehicles we build within our own facility.